welcome back to my channel or hello if you are new today we are going to head to home goods and see what they have out right now it is mid-february so i'm starting to think about spring decor but i'm also looking for some things for a room makeover for my son who is five years old i'm going to be styling his room and getting it finished and then i'm also looking for items for our baby girl's nursery but i'm also keeping my eyes open for neutral home decor spring decor i'm going to be going through the entire store and seeing what catches my eye so I thought it'd be fun to take you guys along with me if you like shop with me videos make sure to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and I will try to link as many of the items as I can down in the description box and while I shop at home goods I'm gonna give you guys ideas on how to style those pieces so stay tuned for that I'll also show a little mini haul at the end so let's get to shopping <music> All right, we're heading into home goods and first I'm looking for bedroom refresh decor. So first up is this set of seven matted gallery wall frames and I thought this was so stunning. This is definitely trendy right now and this was such a good price. You get seven frames for $40. I'll link some other ones that are similar down below. That would be great in a bedroom. I also love these for nightstands and I thought this sideboard table would also be really nice for extra extra storage for anything you may need. This would look great in an entryway also, but I think it would also look really good in a bedroom. And this one was priced at $250. I love adding mirrors to bedrooms and I thought this one matched those frames really well. They were $35. And then these lamps that were wicker on the bottom, I thought were stunning. These were $60 each and I did find some similar ones on Wayfair. So I will link them down below in the description box. And then of course, I love a good quilt. These were incredibly soft and such good prices. The queen was $40. $40 and I found a similar pillow in that material very soft I feel like these are neutral this one was $24 I also loved these oversized these were bigger than euros for $30 each and they were also really soft as well I thought this one was pretty it had a little bit more of a sturdier material but it was on clearance for $18 and this lumbar pillow had lots of texture on it for $25 this set of two came for $30 and then I love this taupe colored one as well for $24 this pillow was patterned and I thought it would be perfect for spring. This one was $19.99 and lots of texture and details on it. And I also loved this one. Now let's move into spring decor. We're going to first look at the florals. They had a good selection of wreaths. They had dried floral wreaths and then they also had faux flower wreaths. I loved a few of them, um, especially these white tulips. I thought that this one was very beautiful and it it was very large it was priced at $40 this one was also pretty with some peonies and I liked this one too um, if it was maybe not so purple I think it'd be prettier in white now they had a ton of tabletop books our home goods has been stocked with them so I was excited to see that and they did have some linen tableware on sale this set of napkins was marked down to $10 and then they also had a good variety of baskets Alright guys, I'm back home now and I'm going to show you a little haul of what I picked up. Nothing too springy except for some spring florals that I'm really excited about that were great deals. But I did pick up some things for Brooks's room and a few things for Breland's room. So let's get into it. First up is this blanket. It has some tassels at the bottom. I love this material. This was actually a clearance item at Home Goods. It was originally $25 and I got it for $18. So I love this. I'm not going to be using this more gray side though. On the other side, it's actually more of a cream color. Here you can see the texture of the blanket. I feel like this is a good year round blanket. So I'm planning on putting this on the end of his bed. And I am gonna be showing a full room makeover and design ideas once I get it finished. And these are like the last little touches. So I'm gonna have the blanket with this color at the end of his bed. And this color matches perfectly with this canvas name sign that I picked up to go above his bed. So I'm really excited for it all to tie in together. I just got the sign in. So I'm gonna to try to finish his room this week. And I'm so excited. He has a new dresser. Um, I have some really functional toy storage. I also found another thing for his room. 
It's two pillows that look like this. They are Euro size pillows and they have great texture on them. This is going to match perfectly with the canvas sign that his name is on. And these were also a clearance find. These were originally $25 and they were on clearance for 18. So that is a great deal. I picked up two of these. I love these pillows. I think these will be a great staple piece for his room. Like for years to come, he'll be able to use these. Here's the texture on these and you can see the sides. And then they are like a really nice um, fluffy pillow. I wanna keep his room pretty neutral and plain, but adding some contrast in with a lot of texture in the pillows and blankets and quilts and stuff. So I picked up two of those pillows. My home goods had a ton of pillows on clearance. They had like half an aisle full of them. And then they also had like a full clearance aisle in the back. So they had a lot marked down, but I also picked up this sweet little pillow for Breland's nursery. And this has like I don't know, a muted blush, it has a little bit of blue. And then again, it's kind of like a creamy linen color. And this one was originally 25 and it was marked down to 20. It's kind of more of a lumbar sized pillow. I feel like this could definitely go as spring decor also. Another thing I picked up for her room was this little jewelry tray. <laughs> I know she's a baby, but she does have like a few little bracelets, like more like this style where like her name is on it. And I think they're so sweet and I just have them in a little drawer. And as I'm doing her nursery, I'm like, okay, I need a little container for, you know, a few of the bracelets that she has. My mother-in-law actually gave me a little baby necklace for her. I can't wait for her to wear it when she gets a little bit bigger. So I thought I could display her jewelry pieces in this little jewelry holder. This was $7.99 very affordable, especially just for storage, and it matches her room. This is kind of like a mauve blush color, and then it has gold. I have a lot of gold accents in her nursery, so I just picked this up and I thought I would show it. It's not spring decor or anything, but I just thought it was really sweet. They have so many organizational pieces right now. I know the beginning of the year, everyone is organizing their closets, their kitchens, their pantries. They had baskets galore. I didn't film all of it but they had really good baskets different price points most of them were like $12.99 for like a medium sized basket so really good deals make sure to look there if you are looking for baskets for organization I haven't really finished our master bedroom or done it completely since we moved in I haven't even put our light fixture up in there so I have a few things in mind but I've been looking for a quilt to go on our bed underneath our comforter it's still winter it's not quite spring and I tend to get cold with the um, insert that we have right now. So I've been on the hunt for a quilt to kind of layer in with our comforter and stuff. And I found this one here and I just love it. I actually got this at TJ Maxx, but I thought I would show it. It's a king size for $50. It's this really nice soft material and it's a taupey color that's pretty muted. I think it will go well with the rest of the decor in our room. It's a really nice stitch pattern to it as well. It also came in other colors too. They had like a lighter linen color and they had this color and I think they had like a charcoal color as well. So I'm excited to refresh our bedroom. Eventually I'm gonna get the kids rooms done first and then I'll work on our master bedroom. But I did go ahead and pick this up. Very excited about it um, I'm excited to get it washed up and put on the bed Woods has had out the best table books lately I've loved the selection this made for living book has been one of my favorite design books to look through it's originally $40 and I want to say it was $19.99 so half off at home goods and I did see this one today definitely grab it if you see it because that is such a good deal Here's some of the design in it. I've styled this in so many different ways on our coffee table, on our entryway. You can see behind me, I have some books. Um, so I love finding really nice table books. Also picked up this one. This is Scandi Rustic. I'm not typically drawn to Scandinavian looks, but I do really like the rustic vibes and it's kind of just more like modern rustic. Here's some of the 
pages in there. I thought this was a really pretty book and it's all about creating a cozy and happy home. Lots of just like natural elements in the design. And this one was $20 and it's originally 35. So again, a really good deal. And it also looks beautiful displayed on a coffee table. And then I always love to look at the cookbooks also. And I found this one. This one is called The Comfortable Kitchen. This one was $14.99 and it was originally $30. So again, a really good deal on a cookbook. And it has really simple recipes that are elevated. <laughs> and they all seem pretty healthy. It reminds me a lot of the half-baked harvest chicken fajitas, all about that. That looks so good. Like paleo chicken pot pies, lots of good recipes in this one. So I'll try to link this cookbook. It's got 150 laid back, healthy, and wholesome recipes. So definitely is healthy. I'm excited to flip through this and to get some inspiration. But I'm also excited to just style this in the kitchen. I love to layer cookbooks together, have them displayed on my countertops. So I'm excited to add this one to the collection. Another thing for the kitchen, I showed the these pieces in my last kitchen decorate with me, but they're these really nice size flat kind of round bowls. These were $3.99 each and I love these for making acai bowls. They're the perfect size for it. They have a little handle. They could also be like little mini soup bowls. They kind of have a pottery like feel, very like handmade. And I love stacking them up like this and styling them on my open shelves in the kitchen. I think they're a really pretty touch. This is functional decor at its best. These are also microwave and dishwasher safe. Another item I've had my eye on is a big magnifying glass. I know that might sound strange, but I wanted to style it on my coffee table with the books. So I found this one at Home Goods for $16.99, and I did find some similar on Amazon that were on the $25 price point. It does have brass accents on it and a really pretty black candle. I think it has a vintage feel to it. So I'm excited to like have a book laid open with the magnifying glass on top of it. A lot of designers do this and I like that look and I've been really drawn to it lately. So I was excited to find this one at Home Goods and they had a few different ones as well, but I liked this simple style the best. Okay, now on to spring florals. This is definitely like the star of the show. I love finding their realistic tulips. These are actually by the Martha Stewart line and they were marked down for $9.99 for this bunch. These are very good sized tulips. I would say they're large in size um, and they also have a pretty large stem on them. I've ordered some off of Amazon and they're definitely shorter and they have a smaller bloom on them. So I'm really pleased with um, the size of these. They feel very real to the touch. They're kind of like an ivory white. I feel like they're picking up more true white on camera, but they're definitely a little bit off white, which I feel like makes them look a little bit more realistic. So if you're looking for some beautiful tulips, you can throw in a vase for spring. Definitely check out TJ Maxx, Home Goods. They have all sorts of varieties and colors out. But I think they are so beautiful and definitely realistic. And my favorite stems I found for spring, I'm gonna back up, are these. How pretty, I love them. These are two bundles, and I think these will look absolutely beautiful in a large vase, all spread out and just fluffy, very pretty. And the price on these was great. It was $14.99 each, so, each set was $14.99. I've seen these on A Floral. They are like $30 per stem. Yes, they look realistic, but I think that these are stunning and they give that feel on a budget. So I'm always looking for things like that. They also had other colors in these, but I loved the white. I think these are beautiful for spring. I can't wait to put them in the kitchen or on the dining room table, style them in different vases. You could even have um, multiple arrangements in your house. Depending on the size of vase that you have, you could split the stems up. They are close up. They have a little bit of yellow in the center. The twigs are very wispy and they're a very tall stem. So I love these, I'm very excited to use these in my spring decor. And that's honestly what I'm focusing on when it comes to spring is just 
really pretty textured neutral pieces and then bringing in that life of spring with the florals that are in season and investing in some really nice ones so all right guys that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed going to home goods and kind of seeing what they have out right now in between seasons and also looking for neutral pieces that are good all year round but also could nod towards spring decor so like i said stay tuned i have some room transformation videos coming really soon that i'm so excited to share with you guys thanks for spending some time with me today and i'll see you all real soon in my next one bye friends mm -hmm.